You guys know how Pokemon evolves, right? There is actually not evolution, but closer to a natural phenomenon known as metamorphosis. And today, we're going to catch some Caterpies! Caterpillars are really picky eaters, like some of you, so they'll only eat certain types of plants. Mm, I thought he got a long one. What happened to them? Butterflies like to lay the eggs under the leaves because it keeps it hidden away from predators. So there'll be a higher chance of finding either eggs or larvae of the butterflies here. Yeah! It's Is this the plant we're looking for? No, but there's berries. Stop eating. Ah. Can you actually eat this? Uh, yeah, you can actually, but I will not try. We're looking for the mottled emigrant larvae. So it's like... It's not exactly caterpie, but it's green and almost like caterpie, so... It's just green and long and plump and juicy. There's a lot of red ants. The red ants like soldiers, they protect the plant from the caterpillars and their eggs. I don't think you're gonna find anything in this tree. What's it? This is the leftover casing of a butterfly that has emerged and flew away. It's a something! It's around here! But there's another one! Ah! Oh, no! You found one? Yeah, I found, I found, I found! Where? Yeah. Mm. This is the larvae of the butterfly. How do I know it's a butterfly and not a moth? Uh, the larvae of the moths are usually furry and full of hairs. So yes, this is definitely a butterfly. More of the muscles are in the abdominal area because that's where the fake legs are to help the caterpillar actually move forward. Wait, fake legs? Mm-hmm. So if you look at the caterpillar, can you see? There's three front legs. Mm -hmm. Those are the hard ones. And then the behind legs are actually fat and squishy. So the ones at the back, they are attached to the abdomen and those fat and squishy legs are actually fake legs or what we call pro legs. Oh, oh it's on my finger, it's on my finger. Hello! So once it metamorph, it will go away. Yeah, the fake legs will disappear. Because not true legs, but the legs, the true legs will eventually become the legs of the butterfly. Why do you say that Pokemon's evolution is actually metamorphosis? Because evolution happens in a really, really long period of time over many, many generations where a new species is produced. But for metamorphosis, it only happens within that one single lifetime. Hence, Pokemon evolution is actually metamorphosis. Different types of butterflies have different pupil forms. And for this particular caterpillar that we found, as you can see, the pupil is actually upright and is supported by this one single silk around its body. It's so cute, it's like a baby with a rope around its... No, don't say that. Oh. How did this cute little caterpillar become this pupa form? Unlike the moth, which actually spins a cocoon around its body, this thing, what it does, it actually cracks open its skin at the back and it pushes its own skin down and then the new skin that is formed is the chrysalis itself. It will dry up and harden and it will become this shiny green little thing. It's super hardcore! It may seem like nothing is happening, like a useless metaphor, but magic is happening inside here! So what happens is that the pupil will secrete enzymes that will dissolve all the soft tissue into this big glob of soup. And within this big glob of soup, there are groups of cells known as imaginal discs, which will rearrange their cell to form the respective adult parts. So this group of cells for the antenna become the antenna, this group of cells for the eyes become the eyes, this group of cells will become the wings, yada yada yada, and then the Pokemon will emerge. Now you guys know how Pokemon evolution actually works. And it's time to release our butterfree. Goodbye! Go, go, go! Fly, you're free now! No! Darling, you're free! You're free to fly! Woo! Woo! Bye! Okay, that's all for today. Just keep thinking.